Welcome back guys and we're back with another command block creation. This time we're going to be showing how to get players um, that are offline actually offline on the scoreboard. Um, I've been asked a couple of times about this so I thought I'd show my method. Um, I just want to add it's not completely original. This is something that I've used off somebody else quite a while ago. Um, however I have had to tweak it a little bit just to make it sort of work um, because I've used it in every realm and server since. Um, I will try and find that link and I'll leave it in the description just for the original version of this as well. Right. So as you can see I've got both my accounts logged in at the moment and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and log out of the other one. And as you can see as he's, lof uh, well, as he's leg uh, left or logged out um, his name's come off of there and it's taken his coins back off. Um, now what we'll do is we'll log back in just to show that the same amount of coins actually there. Uh, one second. Uh, yeah, just to make sure that the money doesn't actually get cleared. So obviously don't want someone leaving then coming back a while later to find that all their hard-earned coins have suddenly disappeared into nowhere. Oh, it should just take another second to load up. Right, you should see him logging in in just a second. Anyway, obviously this is helpful for any sort of economy uh, survival servers, um, which uses any coins or currency system. It doesn't have to be called coins, uh, it could be called money, it can be called whatever you like. Um, but we'll go through that bit in a minute. And there we go, he's back, exact same coins, um, so you can see it's working pretty well. So let's get to the actual commands for this now. So if we head into my now slightly more well organized command room, um, we can just go into the coins and offline section, and here it is in principle. It's for seven command blocks, an observer, comparator, and some redstone. Um, again, you'll see the, the actual original, I'll put a picture up now, the actual original looks slightly different to this. Um, I believe this command block here wasn't a repeat, but I did have a few problems before with it actually working. Um, after a little while of sort of playing around with it, I found this way um, worked for me anyway. So, first thing you're obviously going to want to do is set up a scoreboard. Um, at the moment, I'm, I'm a server can't actually allow cheats, however, I will still type it in um, in the correct fashion. It just won't auto-fill. Um, so, the first thing you want to do is make a scoreboard. That for me, it's coins. You might want to make money, um, etc., whatever that's called. So, what, would, what we'll do is score. Help if that's actually type in there. So, scoreboard, objectives, add, um, and then you're going to want to add it. So, you know, if it's so for me, I put coins, um, it's got to be lower and uppercase um, sensitive, so it's got to be the same as what you add now um, every time you use it. So, I've put coins like that, um, and then you hit enter. Obviously, it says cheats aren't allowed on here. So basically, what you've done is you've actually created the objective there on the right-hand side, um, saying coins. It won't actually pop up on your screen, but it'll give you the objective to start from. Anyway, I believe the one we start off first is this command block here. If you, those of you that don't know, it's forward slash give at s at the little at mark at s command block. Um, you could you can just Google that. It's pretty easy to find. Um, but yeah, so once you've got your command block, pop it down facing up, and you're going to want to make this one a repeating, unconditional, always active, uh, no delays in the ticks, and that's a test for at A. So that's going to be testing for any player in the vicinity, or anywhere on the map in fact. So second one, and again, as you notice, they go one up from each other. They've got following a chain like that. So second one up is a chain, unconditional, always active, and we've got zero tick delay. Um, and that's going to be a scoreboard, players, add, at A, um, this is where it changes a little bit. So where I had coins, uh, we use coins and like a separate term for it, but so you still know it's the same. So for this, so I just use display, um, I believe the original video did as well. So I've done coins, display, and then you're adding zero, so you're adding nothing to this one. Then you go up one more, so the third one's going to be a scoreboard players add at A, and then you're using the original one coins, um, if you used money, use money or whatever you've originally done, um, and zero, so you're adding zero to this objective as well, chain unconditional always active. Um, last one, normally this would be facing up as well, I just ran out of room, but it will still work because it's the last one, uh, this one there is going into that one. Um, so again, chain unconditional always active with uh, no tick delay. And this one's going to be an execute at A, um, tilde, 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 
and then a scoreboard players operation obviously just copy it as is off here um, apart from the actual coins display unless you're using coins yourself so yeah scoreboard players operation at s coins display so that's using um, the second objective so not the coins the coins display space equals at s coins um, you know so you can pretty much guess what you're doing there um, it's making that into that right there if you can see my mouse cursor so the coins display into the coins so come off of there so that's your first row done um, these four are done then you've got to put a comparator facing that way don't press the red one don't need to um, it will shine because obviously it's testing for players and I am a player so it will immediately find me uh, it will light up this redstone and then get to the observer just check out um, the correct way of placing it the arrows facing into it that way and the little face uh, the little face detectors here so after you pop that down you do your second row again you want to do it all facing up so you've got three going up and the one directly next to the observer is this it's an impulse unconditional needs redstone um, so this will get activated every time the observer um, obviously is activated and it's activated as soon as it, uh, anybody is tested for and found so this one's going to be a scoreboard objective remove um, coins display so wh whatever your one was with a display um, it's going to go up into a repeat unconditional always active again none of these need any ticks um, any tick delays and this one's a scoreboard objectives add coins display dummy coins just for a quick explanation of this um, you're adding coins display um, uh, sorry <laughs> that's just reminded me I've done something wrong a little bit earlier obviously I have to write the dummy um, I would have added that in by now um, so coins display dummy um, but then you're adding coins at the end so this objective that you added here um, coins display is going to display as coins um, I hope I've explained that correctly but yeah so you've added another objective called coins display but you're disguising it as an objective called coins followed up by the third command block which is a scoreboard objectives set display um, sidebar so this is because I've displayed it on the right hand side um, I have tried list on this which is on the pause menu on the right hand side um, but it I don't know why it just doesn't seem to work correctly for me so I've just kept it on the sidebar um, and it always works to be quite fair like this um, and yeah after the sidebar you're going to put coins display again or money display whatever you have and there you go you're done there um, and again just in case you missed it the first I would have sort of gone over my mistake but I'll type it anyway so it's scoreboard objectives add coins dummy and that that would have been the correct way um, I sort of forgot with the we're having a got auto fill haven't had it in a while and um, so yeah that would have been the first thing that you've done there you don't need to add this one this is just um, the the display won't need to do that because that will be done itself obviously once you've done the command blocks um, and yeah if it doesn't pop up straight away and doesn't work straight away all I tend to do is just break that redstone put the redstone back and it sort of kicks the system back into gear um, and yeah I've used this for multiple realms it, it's never actually let me down I never end up with any offline players clogging up on the screen um, yeah I hope this helps if there's anything that sort of goes wrong a little bit just uh, leave your questions in the comments and I'll be able to help out I know some of these systems can be a little bit funny to set up at first uh, but yeah I promise once this one gets going it never ends um, well, I've never had to refix it again and again I'll leave the link in the bottom just to sort of link the original video that I'd seen this idea from um, so yeah, thanks guys. Um, thanks for watching again. Please do leave a like and subscribe if you really liked it. Bye bye. Yeah.